Joe. This is my Type R trophy car by mine and my dad's. We're racing Hot Hatch this weekend. We've done a little, few little changes on it for this weekend to have a bit of fun. Got some different tyres on it, different exhaust manifold, a different final drive and a map. And we're just having a, have a go with Class B. We've just had qualifying. It was absolutely lethal, especially on these used Derezas. Felt like I was running around on plastic and just about kept it on the track. A few big slides and a few um, lockups going straight on, but happy to have just not hit the wall like I did last time when I was there and just get back and we'll have a go in the race one when it's a bit more dry. And what type of things have you done this year? So we've done a year in Type R Trophy. It's my second year ever racing, second year in Type R Trophy. And it was a massive learning curve last year. It was a massive learning curve this year and moved the way up the grid a bit. Had some good days, had some days with some DNFs and crashes, but it's racing, isn't it? So we finished the championship in September at Donington Park. Probably the best weekend we've ever had. I led the second race, so half of it. Still had a slide in the last three places, but yeah, it was a real good weekend. The, pos the positives have been bigger than the negatives, and we're definitely going to be back next year. The car's a bit looking a bit tired. This is probably the best side you're looking at it from. Basically a show car when we started racing, then it became a 10 footer, now it's more like a 30 footer, but yeah, we're going to build a brand new one for next year and retire this and give it a bit of love. Rebuild it with a K24 and a short ratio of box, bigger brakes, bigger wheels and tyres and come back again next year in the Type R Trophy. So do you know where you've, where you've ended up in qualifying at the moment? Badly. I think I'm 22nd overall. I can't remember how many, how many it's out of and I think I'm 7th or 8th in class and I think there's only 10 of us in the class so it really didn't go too well but I'm hoping for some dry weather and we'll have a bit of fun. We're in here to have a good time so. What type of modifications has, has this got then? Obviously with Type R Trophy you've got a couple of uh, li limitations yeah. whereas just o o overall what sort of things has, has the EP3 got? So the Type R Trophy cars are a bolt-in safety devices cage, uh, yellow speed coilovers with the inverted fronts, MRF semi-slip tyres, M factory helical diff, Super Pro bushes, 24mm rear anti-roll bar, no ABS, ABS delete kit, standard manifold with a race cat and a Tegra 70mm cat back, standard brakes just with any pads or discs that you want, Tegra carbon air box, uh, there's probably some few of the little bits, but nothing major, standard ECU, standard map. So today you kind of feel like you've been able to let it, let it loose Yeah, just have bit. a little bit of a play with things. I mean, the, believe it or not, the power's actually less than Type R Trophy map. Well, it's because it's a standard map. It's really brought the mid-range up and I think we've got like 15 foot-pounds more torque and stuff, so it's a, it's a bit more lively to drive and it's got a higher rev range as well. The other standard map only revving to 80 grand and now this is right revving to 8,500, so. So we've probably got, what, about half an hour or so till, till race rate? Race yeah, one? yeah, and hopefully the, the rain holds off, yeah. But Fingers crossed, all right, yeah. well, well, we'll catch up with you after. Nice one, catching a bit. racing for 15 minutes for the high-tech electronic materials Alfa Romeo Championship and the PBS Brakes Hot Hatch Championship waiting for the lights to go out which they do now and the Alphas head towards us then it's Paul Plant in the 201 car on the right hand side of the picture coming towards us but on the inside it's the number 33 car going through to take the lead all the hot hatches have started their race as well try and pick up on that in a moment safety car has now come out as well with uh, yellow flags all around the circuit. It's going to reunite the field but it's also going to diffuse um, one or two of the battles that were uh, raging there and it might uh, turn advantages the other way. That's right, so we may not get much more uh, green flag bunning uh, in this race. Of course, only 15 minutes, which doesn't equate itself to very many laps, of course, around the uh, Silverstone 
national circuit. Let's just have a run. So how did the, uh, the first race go? I know it was a bit of a short-lived one. It was, it was all right, just struggling really badly to get the heat in the tyres. It's still a bit, it's just on edge all the time. So we're going to do some change the alignment on it. See if we can put a bit more grip on it, especially because it looks like it's going to rain again. So, but may as well hold on to it a bit better. Which no matter how, how hard I worked it on the green flag lap, I just couldn't just couldn't get heat into the tyres. So yeah, where where about did did, like, did you end up in the end? Uh, I don't even know. Six six in class of things. I made a place place or two. Eighth in class. Yes, yeah, so that's that's not too bad. It's not bad considering how you were feeling. No, quite. I mean I, I'm gonna start. I had a good start compared to a lot of people and now, but then as soon as I come to the corner when I didn't know where, the, where I was going to have any grip or not, it just, it just, they just went past me again, so yeah. hopefully we're going to have a go at some changes and see how we get on. 86.5, so that's 3.4. That the, the took nearly just under a degree off, has it? Yeah. If not more, it's not more off, it's at 1.2 we'll, we'll run into that, try that. Yeah. Put it down, try that and check it. Yeah, yeah. going on then guys? Just getting ready to string it up. Yeah, string it up and try a different setting on it. The weather ain't getting much better so... It's freezing, isn't it? It's freezing cold as well so... At least it stopped raining. It stopped raining but it's wet. Yeah, Mac, what, what's going on? Well, as I'm this morning with the resins on, we've changed the settings to a complete wet setting. It's wet out there at the moment. It's, on, it's not raining, but it's still wet. So these, are, these aren't working. We can try MRFs, which we've got, or do we just roll the dice completely with nothing, nothing to lose and hope for the best with a set of rain sport wets. So we're gonna, we're gonna run with the wets and um, hope for the best and see where we end up. And that's about as good as we're gonna get. What's what I was going to do? Pilot's what falls. Has it? Yeah. How can I tell you? Worse than this morning. A lot worse. I yeah. think you're going to be like... Anything's better than them derosas then, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty... Kicking loads of water down here. Absolutely tons. I think you... Just pick your way around that, I think you'll be alright. Yeah, definitely. Inside line down there is wet. Like, spray off them. Proper wet. I'm going to try and enjoy this one. Yeah. Keep her on the flag because it's like really sketchy, isn't it? I know, yeah. Don't forget as well, you don't really swarm these up on the start. I will a bit. Yeah, but not like, yeah. like you would normally. If you get off good and everything, there's a chance of a safety car. You might only get three or four laps if you've had the same situation as last time. Yeah, yeah. So you need to cop capitalise on if the safety car comes out, their tyres are only good for temperature. You ain't got to stick to the draw line no more if you don't want to take, you know what I mean? You've got a bit more confidence. You can take a point, can't you? Yeah, we'll see go, yeah. Yeah, you just don't, don't, you've got more opportunity to do that, yeah. Mind Joe, keep going the start, mate. Mm. Don't forget, if you're not going off, jump into the water. Good luck. Nice one, cheers, Dad. Cheers, hello.
right then, Joe. So that was the last race of the season, effectively. Yeah, it's probably um, one of the worst as well. <laughs> I think yeah. you were, uh, yeah, obviously you switched out to the to the Uni Royals for this one. Yeah, yeah. It was, Explain what it happened. It just went the polar opposite. It was just like, corners where I was doing this before, I was like that and just still going off the track understeering. I think we just went too far, but I think it was safer than the other setup by far. I mean, it felt a lot more in control, but it was a bit, it's a bit unpredictable sometimes if how, if you were going to make, if you are going to turn in and it was going to go around, if it was going to turn in and just f you off on the on the side, like, but yeah, it was a bit rough. I had a bit of contact with someone that I really didn't want to have contact with. They weren't even in my class, so right. apologies to them. No ABS is f so hard to stop if you have a lock up in these. I'm trying to bang the, well, bang it into gear to slow it down, and then also like do you sort of own ABS with your foot, and it's a, it doesn't work out very well if I'm honest, but. Um, so it's yeah. a bit of a difficult race then? Yeah, just not how I would ever want a race to go really, but yeah. I mean, it's in one piece just to bounce, so yeah, it was all right. So yeah. have you got any final words for the, like, the season, I guess? I mean, overall it's been it's been mega, so much learn. Like this weekend was just a massive learning curve. You think you think you can sort of get in a championship and have a go, but there's so much to learn, like tyres, setups. I've got a lot to learn in the wet definitely as well. So, but I mean, it's all a learning curve. Absolutely loads learned like today, if I'm honest. But, yeah. so have you had fun though, for the whole season? Yeah, oh yeah, the season's been wicked, yeah. Type yeah. R Trophy is just a mega championship. To drive with that many guys and, and girls, it's just, and it's so competitive. It's good, good grid as well, good group of people. Yeah, we'll be back next year and we'll have, a, we'll have another go. Hopefully a bit more luck on our side. But.